In this video, we're going to talk about some basic strategies to diagnose engine oil leaks. For this video, we're going to take a look at this 1999 Honda CRV. It's got an oil leak, leaves a few drips behind whenever it's parked overnight. And so we're going to see if we can figure out where that's coming from. This particular car has got a four cylinder, um, high mileage, over 250,000. And so we're going to look and see where we think it's coming from. The best place to start whenever we do this is to look at the top of the engine first and then work our way down. There's some common areas on these cars like this cam plug right here as well as the valve cover gasket that we'd want to pay attention to. Another common failure point on this car is the distributor O-ring that's just beneath here. The fact that that space is pretty dry tells me we should keep moving. If we look at the other side of the valve cover, all around, we don't see a whole lot. Next, we'll pick the car up and we'll take a look underneath. Now under the car, we can take a look and see if there's any signs of where the oil is coming from. We see some oil up here on that carrier bearing for the axle shaft. We see that the oil pan all around is fairly wet. We see that the oil pan fastener is up here, also relatively wet. And so these are all signs that this is probably the source of my leak is somewhere down here at the bottom. Something else I want to look for is where is the biggest drip? So like this carrier bearing, that's going to come off and hit the ground. So my strategy should always be when I take a look at the bottom of a car like this to find the most relevant drip, but then follow that upward and travel up and think about gravity's impact as well as the impact of air and wind as the car travels down the road. So I see a drip, several drips on the back side of this. This axle carrier bearing is one source. And so if I continue upward, difficult to see, so I'll put a picture on the screen, the oil pressure sending unit has got quite a few drips coming off it, and that looks to be the highest point. So we're gonna take that apart and take a closer look. With the connector unplugged on that oil pressure switch, it was pretty clear that it's leaking. The diaphragm inside must have ruptured and the oil is being allowed to come out through the electrical connector and cause a leak. And so we're gonna replace that oil pressure switch, clean up the area and reevaluate. Anytime I have an engine oil leak, that's a key part of the process. I need to make sure I clean well. And sometimes there's so much oil that even in the diagnostic process, I need to clean first and then take a closer look. There's other options too, such as UV dye and things that I can put into the engine oil so that it leaves a trace behind and helps me identify where that oil is coming from. Another process that I can use is a smoke machine. Sometimes engine oil leaks are so bad that a smoke machine can help me identify them. We recently had this on a Volkswagen that a student brought in that was dripping oil pretty severely. Whole engine was covered, we cleaned it. It still wasn't too clear, but it was clear that it was leaking. So we used the smoke machine here. We hooked it up to the valve cover through the engine oil cap. And we were able to see that there was a gross leak at the upper timing cover. There's other good options for that connection, such as the oil dipstick. The smoke machine's a handy tool for a lot of different things. That's a short video about diagnosing engine oil leaks. It's always important to look at the highest point, think about where the wind and air travel when the car is in movement, and if it's really difficult to see, clean the surface, clean all the areas with a degreaser, and then carry on with our diagnosis.